Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, today our lesson is about G major chord. So that's the shape. Number one finger um, on fifth string, second fret, and then number two finger on sixth string, third fret, and your third um, finger, first string, third fret. Okay. There's another variation to this chord, which is using your pinky, putting it on uh, first string, third fret, and then this one. That one retains the same position so you added your pinky and at the same time you put one here okay I remember when I was learning the guitar it's difficult for me uh, to do this chord or even this one the G uh, shape so what I did was I used this my thumb for the G bass and then my uh, pointing finger on the higher G um, note so this is how I do it others would shortcut it with just one finger or you can do this one but instead of pressing your ring finger you can lift it up and just press these two fingers um, as long as you're strumming or plucking the top bit the top set of strings so it's still um, a G because um, the notes are there G B D those are the triads for your uh, G chord so if you strum or pluck these three strings, it will still sound G. So G, B, D is your open D, and then this is G again, so you can even include that one. And if you intend to play G like this, you have to strum from this one fourth string because that's a D this is G this is B and this is G again so that's G or without pressing anything because uh, D G and B those are the triads again for G so if you, if you pluck or strum this three strings it will make a sound of a G chord as long as you got a good control with your plectrum or pick you can make a G chord without pressing anything uh, right let's focus let's go back to this one it's better for you if you can reach it with your um, hands uh, this uh, shape practice it rather than doing shortcuts uh, the other way to do it if you get small hand um, is to buy a small guitar uh, half size or three quarters so that it's easy for you um, so G and then the strumming uh, try and uh, find a strumming pattern that um, is easy for you start with just a downstroke one and then um, you can do other variations uh, I don't know if you heard the song Daughter by um, Pearl Jam it's on G and it's got a different strumming but 
the chords it the chord itself is G Breakfast table in otherwise empty room. So yeah, it's on G. If you if you just want to jam and um, practice your strumming, uh, you can sort of do it with that song. Or um, living on a jet plane. Oh my hands are packed. I'm ready to go Standing here At my door Already I'm so lonesome I could die So kiss me and smile for me Tell me you wait for me Never let me go The important thing is you uh, manage to make the guitar sound without any dead string like so make it clear spread your fingers so that it's not hitting other strings okay see you soon bye for now